Lime Garden have released what is possibly our most anticipated album of 2024 so far. It's called One More Thing. One More Thing. We've enjoyed four or five singles of theirs from Plenty. this album. Four. Plenty of Love Song, it? Mother, Off the album. Baby. Basically. Yeah, I Want to Be You. And Pop Star was a late release, <clears throat> which I didn't listen to before the album was released. No, me neither. Um, let's get straight into it, shall we? Yes. We've all been very complimentary about the songs, in particular Love Song and I Want to Be You, uh, featured on our favourite songs of 2023, because that's how rules work on this show. And dates. Um, and dates. They were a release of singles in 2023. It's only fair. Um, they still slap oh so hard. Yes. Oh so hard. Does the rest of the album live up to the hype, in your opinion? No. No. Not quite. Disappointingly, no. Um, it's kind of the way that you'd obviously think it would turn out. This is interesting here, Yanni. I'm very... In- I don't mean this sarcastically or to cause a, uh, a ruckus or such, <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing exactly the same thing you said about the last dinner party in the opposite with the opposite feeling. Yeah. Which, we, and I feel the opposite. I feel like we've swapped <laughs> places. Okay, right. And I think that's it's interesting because I didn't really have much of an expectation for Last Dinner Party. Am I just saying what you've just said? Yeah, but, but, but then way. it delivered in the way you expected, but it was really good. Which yeah. is what you just said about this. <laughs> Except yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. yeah, maybe the anticipation wasn't there. Although you enjoyed all the singles. Yeah, and Tish, and Tish, and Tish was high, bro. <laughs> anyway, um, I mean that's it's by the by. Go and listen to that review if you want. But um, it's just it's interesting to me because I I do feel the opposite. Like I I do, I think it doesn't quite live up to the singles. However, um, yeah. it's still solid, and I'm not disappointed by it like you've just said. Uh, well, I didn't say I was disappointed. You said disappointing. Did I? Your tone suggested. I'm sure you, said the, word, you said the word disappoint in some I, way. I don't think you did. I don't think I did either. Really well, don't think you did. But his we'll tone did suggest it. Uh, well, ignore my tone. Because <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm very disappointed in the album. Uh, no, um, the only song that really I cannot stand... I'll say it. Go on, I know what he's going to say. I'll say it. I know he's going to say it. Is Floor. You bad man. This guy. Why this fucking guy. the unnecessary use you of auto-tune as auto-tune. a child? Do you listen to courting? <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to for these things. For my job. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a job. It doesn't pay. Right, so what do you think about the auto-tune in... Is a pop star or pine? There's another song of auto tune in. Yanni, what I will query is pine you like Charlie it. XCX. Yeah, that might I do. Heavy auto tune in a lot of Charlie's discography. Yeah. Where? But it's always wh- there. Okay. But that's why I questioned. I can't remember which fucking song it is. But there's a song beforehand. I think it's pop star because I don't think it really makes sense. I don't think it is. There is another song on this album that features a part of Auto Tune. Okay. hundred percent guarantee. If you say so. Um but if you've not noticed it, I guess the point's moot anyway. But it's I, so moot. I guess my point is it, it's introduced earlier. If it's not, then yeah, my is, brain yeah, is okay. broken. I need us all to <laughs> check through this because I'm sure it does. I'm not listening not to right I'm not I'm through not the right whole now. Album. Not as right now. fast as I can. Not right now. But anyway, I, it is introduced I, beforehand. And I think, like, for the song Floor, it's work. It's used in an artistic manner in which makes absolute sense of in the yeah. the song, the sound of the song. You can still hear the vocals, I think. I don't think it it doesn't take away. It only adds to the vocals, adds extra layers. My gripe with the song Floors is the other set of vocals that come in. Those kind of, like, grittier sounding ones. Don't like the sound of them weird um because you know completely the opposite uh feeling (laughs) to be honest with you um it's just it really takes me out of it that's so bizarre it really is so like 
oh wait, I'm now listening to this song that features heavy auto tune. Um, yeah, but I get what you mean about it fitting the song that it's on. I get that. But if, with that being the case, I could do that song because it just it stands out because of that. It is in pop star. <laughs> about one okay. a one sixteen. He goes pop star. So there is auto tune. Oh yeah, correct him, Mundo. Um, but yeah, that's just for Jeez. a little bit. You know what I mean? I'll get. I'll look past that. Um, I say that makes the song stand out, but there is another like song on here that is quite different compared to the rest, and that is "Looking." Um, basically, just an acoustic track. Um, quite reminds me of I said this in the chat, but like "Flaws" Bombay Bicycle Club era "Flaws." Flaws era. It's got, era, a, it's got a room even. sound similar to that. Okay, and the guitars I'm on about more is... Yeah. Uh, sorry, that was unnecessary. Um, Jeez Christ. Hey, look, I'll own up to it. But yeah, it's a nice way to end the album, in my opinion, that song. I like that. Mm. Um, the only... Well, I was going to say, the only non-single that uh, really stood out was Popstar, but it kind of was a single that they released the day mm. before, which is annoying. Stop doing that. Mm. I don't well, get it. Why did they do that? I don't get it either. Um... And I know when a band has to is releasing their debut album, they have to kind of put their better songs out first to get people interested in purchasing the album. Worked on me, worked on Liam. Would have worked however, on me at the time. Yeah. However, then when the album does come, it does kind of fall a little bit flat, even though nothing on this is bad, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just think I right. just think the momentum is kind of already at its peak, and then it's just either gonna completely fall off or just remain. There's not there's no more peaks. There's no more excitement. All you end up doing is looking forward to the singles that you know you really love. That, Absolutely, there's nothing that catches you off in a good way. Mm-hmm. Catches you by surprise in a good way. See, I don't. I personally don't agree with that. I think songs like Pine, like a beautiful. I think that's a genuinely beautiful song. Fears has got a great kind of groove to it. Reminds me of early Ed Sheeran <laughs> in a really weird <laughs> way. There's something about it. What's um, um, what's the fucking song? Like "Give Me Love" or something like that. I, it, it reminds me of an early Ed Sheeran song, anyway. But like, I, I don't think it's all just dull. Apart from the singles, I think it's. I'm not saying it's dull. It's it, just it, not. It's just not reaching the heights, the peaks, the songs. I've yeah, this like. I want to be you. What a tune. I wonder if it's, yeah, I mean, tune. you know, we have a review of Idols up. Um, go watch. Do you think it helped there that Pop 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 was held back? Do you Absolutely. Think that's, that's yes. The issue? Absolutely. Because realistically, yep. there is then nothing else on there that's as good as the singles other than Pop Pop Pop. Whereas I think this, the album tracks are better than the album, some of the album tracks on, on the Idols record. But it's a perception. I understand what you're saying. It's a perception. That's the, yeah, the, that's that's exactly that's that was literally singles. the point I made. I mean, because there is their debut album, they have to put their better songs out first to get interest. That was I literally made said that very sentence. Callum, I'm saying it now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you I know. But you're you're posing it as a question. <laughs> I, I've <laughs> already <laughs> stated it's my point of view. It's more it's more a process. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the to the grit, you know, to the crux, to the meat of the bone. Um, so yeah, I do believe that they should have held a couple of them back, but I understand that is not how the game works. The game's um, the game, bro. The game is the game, but I think for their long term, in well, my long term enjoyment. No, no, my long term no. enjoyment of the album. No. It no, would have come no, better no. if if some of the betters. The, better is probably the wrong word. The more. The hits. Um, the slappers. But, but, yeah, but the, just the more engaging songs were just held back but they lend themselves best to singles so it's it's difficult I mean they could have just um, released I Want To Be You as a single and I would have been in I'd have bought it and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a love true. song would have come on as the first song album of the year yeah. album of the year yeah. I would have been <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do think there should be um, a petition to ban artists from releasing the opening track and the final track of an album it should just be banned I don't want it okay I want to experience that for the first time when I put the record on. Yeah, I do get that. 
Yeah, you don't want to start straight on something you already have. Maybe we should do no. a part as part of the podcast. We should not listen to any singles. I mean, it'd make my life a lot easier. <laughs> don't listen to any singles. <laughs> we just do the albums. I mean, it, we're losing quite a lot of our content there, but um, that might help. Maybe it would. Um, yeah, I mean, it's perfectly fine. I've I've enjoyed it. It's a good debut. I, I'm not here to shit on it. Um, oh, yeah, solid debut, apart from you know, absolutely. all the comments we've made. I, I don't want to take away from Yeah, that. No, I hope that if you're listening, Lime Garden, you do realise that we do really like we do your like music. You. Yeah, we do really like your music. We just love the singles and I mean I don't Liam, you can distance yourself from this, but personally, nothing's hit as much as they did. Um I really like okay. Floor. I think the artistic choice to use auto tune works really well. Um it's a nice change of pace. Yanni, fuck off. Um that is probably. I think it's, um, sorry, I do actually want to add. I do want to add that it's um, commendable that they've not put on prior singles that they've released on the album. Like they've yes. gone mm-hmm. in there fully mm-hmm. with new stuff. I know. Yeah. Um. I know nothing. No, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Marbles and sick and tired though. Worthy of an album. I'm bitter. Listen. That's a great song, by the way. Um. Yeah, I do think, other than the singles, Floor is probably the only song that I will add to my playlist and come back to as it stands, but I will come back to it as a collective. And if you, you, know, if you are listening to, to this, uh, Phils, um why is it Mother EP and Popstar EP with the same songs That's on? That's not their choice. You know, but just get, get on the phone to uh, So Young Records. And ask them why they're so wrong. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. <laughs> we are, we, are we rating it? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I, sure. you know, you're right, though. Popstar has... They have the same Songs. B-sides, but not the same A-side, right? It's weird. Mm-hmm. That is strange. But, I mean, that that is all... It's so fucked up. All that stuff. <laughs> None of it makes sense. Why are there five versions of Love Song available on Spotify? Because it's a fucking song. Like, hey, that's why. Yeah. Right. Anyway, rating time. Callum, go first. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. Solid debut. Yeah. After just re-listening for it again, I realised that a lot of it, is, more of it is stuck with me than I thought. I'm going to give it a hearty eight out of ten. A hearty one? And I'm happier with I this mean. than the one I've given previously. For a different well, one. Well, I do that. Uh, I'm going to go with... An eight as well. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. So can't feel like a dickhead. Uh... Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fool's eight. Uh, well done, Limey Garden. Sorry, not Limey? Hello. Sorry. You're breaking out, mate. And that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. Limey. So uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ding the bell, leave a comment, share with your friends and family, if you've still got them. Um, <laughs> bye. It's got an E at the end, so it must be lime. Ah, it's a...